Hey guys, on to today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone iPad up touch to iOS 9.3.5. Now this update shouldn't take that long, so let's just get down to it. So look, go into settings. Now right here, you're in settings. I want you guys to make a backup, okay? So just go down to iCloud and make your backup. Manually, go there, put backup now, then go back and make this update. That's just in case. This update shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. It's a really short update no big deal nothing should happen but it's always good to make that backup if you have no more space on your iCloud don't worry you can connect it up to your computer open up iTunes uh, whether you have PC or Mac you can update it from there and you can also back it up from there so um, under your iPhone um, let me just go to this again you guys are gonna go under general software update and then you guys will see this it's the exact same procedure whether you have an iPad or iPod touch then you guys will see download and install. So the first step is to download. So I already downloaded this previously, but download shouldn't take more than five minutes. If you have really slow internet for some reason, then it'll take longer. Always be connected to some Wi-Fi connection and hook up your iPhone iPad touch to some electricity so you make sure it doesn't die. Now this will not let you make the update unless you have 50% off your battery. Okay, um, and that's good because if it dies through, then you're gonna have to restore your iPhone iPod Touch, and that's why I'm telling you guys to make that backup. Um, also, the backups are really important before you guys click on install, just in case things do happen sometimes, and um, you guys might have to restore it. Okay, now this is a small update, so that's why I'm not to worry about it. Usually, I tell you guys to make an update, um, to make a backup. Sorry, on your iPhone iCloud and then on your iTunes for sure on your computer um, if it was a bigger update so when we're updating from iOS 9 to iOS 10 which is the next one then I'll tell you guys to make the two backups because you guys might even want to go back to iOS 9 who knows anyways for now we're gonna just press install it's gonna ask us for our password if you have one and then you just have to tap on agree once you tap on agree agree again this shouldn't take that long anyways um, this will be a black screen in a minute, then you will see a loading bar. Once that loading bar is done, um, again, shouldn't take more than 10 minutes or 15, depending on your speed and which iPhone you got. Um, once that's done, then it's just gonna ask you for your password and you're done. That's it for the update. It's really fast, really easy. It's nothing big. If you guys have an iPhone 4S, for example, and you guys don't see under general your update, don't worry, just hook it up to your computer, do it from there using iTunes. Once again, that's available for Mac and Windows. That's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.